Hi, I've got here a big bucket of 5 kilograms of pool chlorine and today I want to show you with 10 different experiments why this is an incredibly amazing but also very dangerous substance. Those are all things you definitely should never do because if they go wrong you are in big big trouble. So without any further ado let's get started with the first experiment. The first thing you should never ever do with pool chlorine is to add any kind of acid. So let's just see what happens when I add them. Here is hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid phosphoric acid citric acid and acetic acid and as you can see in all flasks we are forming toxic yellow green chlorine gas which would obviously be a huge problem if you did that an accident and that's because the hypochlorite can react with chlorine atoms in the calcium hypochlorite to form chlorine gas another thing you should definitely never add to your pool chlorine is regular brake fluid this is a very popular experiment for a reason looks like very peaceful Oh my god! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Need to do that again. I mean, this really does not look like a lot, but it's far more than enough. Now the reaction with brake fluid is very well known, but did you also know it works with regular household glycerin? It's funny, I first thought that was an utter fail, but amazing how it burst into flame after it had reacted already. That was really cool. Most of the calcium hypochlorite at the bottom here is still unreacted. Now let's try this again, this time of mixing it a lot better from the last video. Now I have about 5 seconds until I need to run, so let's do this. Three. The reason this happens is the same as for the brake fluid because calcium hypochlorite is a strong oxidizer and therefore it rips apart the glycerin molecule and makes it burst into flames so we have a combustion to CO2, H2O and all we have left is calcium chloride. This also works with the esters of glycerin which is for example just this regular store-bought sunflower oil. Now I've weighed out the correct ratio of calcium hypochlorite and sunflower oil that I can't tell without YouTube probably insta banning me. And now let's carefully mix that together. Now as you can see it doesn't auto ignite. Wow! That was so hot and bright I could hardly look at it. So yeah, just regular sunflower oil even reacts vigorously with that stuff. Number 5 on the list of things you should never do with pool chlorine is to get it on your clothes. Not because it is dangerous, but for a reason that I will show you right now. So that's just an ordinary piece of jeans. Now if we put some pool chlorine on there and make it wet, you can immediately see that where the pool chlorine is located we are losing all of the color. And that's because pool chlorine is an extremely concentrated form of bleach. Basically as much concentrated as you can get it. 
And any little bit that gets in your closet will immediately remove all the color. So you can see that was pretty much instantly. But yeah, now you know how you could theoretically turn blue jeans into white jeans. If you look on the back side, it even almost bleached all the way through. Another thing that might get really dangerous is if you mix your pool chlorine with household ammonia. It's 25% ammonia solution. Let's just see what happens. The ammonia NH3 is a reducing agent and hypochlorite, as we've already learned, is a very strong oxidizer, so obviously together they react rather violently. I'm only doing this in small amounts because I'm scared that I might form the high explosive nitrogen trichloride, but that would be a topic for an entire different video and I won't go in depth about that right now. Now it becomes even more interesting. If you crush your pool chlorine into a fine powder, and then add something as ordinary as powdered sugar in the correct ratio you can make some nice pyrotechnics uh oh uh oh uh oh no my beautiful dish Okay, so apparently this can also self-ignite. Good to know. In my tests it didn't. Maybe some rain got in there and that caused it. Now having learned from my first mistake and I have matches ready and I have now prepared all the ingredients properly so I can mix them a lot more quickly because I don't want this to self-ignite because last time it self-ignited it released a lot of chlorine gas before. So yeah, that shows how dangerous of a pyrotechnic this is. Okay, I've pushed my luck long enough. Now let's just... Oh, shoot. Go for it. This even works with the polymerized version of sugar, which is just regular starch. I'm just using cornstarch for this example. So I've weighed out the right ratio and now let's mix it up just like before. I mean it takes a while to get going, but once it's going, it's really going. If you did this in a quite large amount, you could get a really nice fire. Another very surprising substance that you should never mix with pool chlorine is ordinary Coca-Cola. So let's just pour in the whole bottle. And now let's add a liberal amount of pool chlorine straight from the bucket. First, it seems once more nothing's happening. And now we've completely bleached the Coca-Cola. <laughs> And as you can see by the green color of the beaker, this is also releasing lots of chlorine gas once again. So this experiment is actually quite dangerous. Now the reason this is happening is because the sugar in the coke reacts violently with the strong oxidizer calcium hypochlorite. To test it, we'll get to the last experiment, which is a solution of 10% sugar and water. And now let's add some pool chlorine to that.
that took a long while to get going, but as you can see it's pretty much the same reaction. And now, to make this even more awesome, we're going to do this in a close bottle. Wow! Okay, that was crazy. Now let's do it again, but five times bigger. Jesus Christ, that was a lot louder than the first one. <laughs> I hope nobody's coming for me right now. Now for the last shot I want to stand right next to the giant brake fluid flame, just for size comparison. So yeah, I guess there's a very good reason why you should never mix brake fluid and pool chlorine. I mean that flame was at least two meters high, it was taller than me certainly. If you want to see more content like that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. In case you have other suggestions for experiments that I should try, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Other than that, a like for the video would be very much appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching.